Hutter, you're the first to join. How are you doing? So good to see everybody. I'm supposed to be keeping track of how many people <laughs> are joining, but then I have to lead the webinar. So <laughs> maybe when uh, people are leading their projects, I can keep a little head count. What's everybody doing? Good. I've got my birthday mug again. I know you don't care, but like I have fun telling you what my mug is every time. And then, you know, if somebody's going through and watching all the YouTube videos, they can be like, oh, she did the mug thing. Okay. Are you still uh, uh, You said you were doing good. Go hey. um, we've got Miley coming in. Oh, is that the girl who hosted? Mm -hmm. uh, did you guys work on the snake project? Yeah. I, I, if you look at it, I was trying to change the key press, but there are some <laughs> errors that we can't find, like individual errors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you guys know my strategy for mugging, right? Then, then Miley had, um, she had class, so me and I tried to figure it out, and we couldn't figure it out. I, I mean, it's, I, yeah. I did some last night, but I don't know what all the functions do. Yeah, like, right. there's, like, and why. And I don't know what they mean, so it's yeah. kind of hard. Yeah, so this is why when I debug your stuff, you got to go through commenting. every single line. And it, you can take physical notes, if that helps. Just be like, this variable does such and such a thing so as to not change his code to be you know add comments that make it hard for him to read you know, just take your own notes and then what you can do is you can set up functions for the purpose of debugging it's like okay well i only want to check out this the functionality of this one thing so let me make a test snake to see if everything's okay there you might know that your code works you don't have to rely on everything together to work like let me see if i can demonstrate in any way. I have my scratch pad right here. Uh, we'll get to that. I, yeah. I know this is Friday and other people are going to leave their own projects because it's Friday. Um, can we, um, yeah, Miley's waving. Board? Yes, yeah, you can have to leave it for it. Uh, my point would be like, see, I've got a lot of functions here. Good for Whoa. you. <laughs> uh, but if I wanted to just check mine block draw, I could get everything, get rid of everything else in here and just say, this is a block draw. Uh, a few hours. So I, yeah, I would just call the one and say, okay, it's working. I don't know why the block isn't showing up, but maybe I'll figure that I can look at the variables, see what they do. So my block draw is working. I can see that because I just called it in the draw function. Uh, if it's not the kind of thing where you can call it and have it work, you can make like var mine block assist and then do something with the variables to make it printable to the screen. Make your little debug function. Sure. So that's an option. My best advice is definitely just to go like literally line by line. And I understand that in projects like this, there are 258 lines, but if you don't look at every single one, you won't know how the code works. Okay, I'm leaving, okay? I'll come in another one. Okay, bye, I'm Gotham. IPad. Bye bye. I'll come back. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, we want the leaderboard. I, yeah, I go to the how to start page to get to my own link. It's pretty lame, but here we are. Okay, last week. Matthew S. takes the win. The moving car. Let me see. Thing. Oh, okay. What? How, how, why am I losing? <laughs> I'm going right as fast as I can. <laughs> okay. It's not possible. Yeah, it doesn't seem possible. But it's creative. Oh my goodness. It's, mm -hmm. I think, does he mean maybe go left? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, anyway. Uh, holiday tree still doesn't work. Uh, we stand, we stand. Pick up the tennis ball. Okay, Gotham's back. Wait till he can hear, and then, and then I'll roast his tree again. <laughs> Gotham, your tree doesn't work. Hello, I'm back. Hello, I was just, I was just roasting your Christmas tree that doesn't work. <laughs> am, I, am I second place? How much? Yes. Let go. You're underneath this unbeatable game. I will beat. 
You're going to beat the move car. See, like, yes. it just crashes into me. Look, it just to go right. But then I just crash in. Look, he's, he's so good at it. Matthew. Uh, like, level 20. I can't go up or down, so I'm just, I just die every time. But Miley said she's going to beat it, so I'll leave that in your hands. 6,000. I could have beat Thank it. Thank you. 11,000 points. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're going to we, get a lot we, of points for a little bit. Can we go over my hand of deck, hand of cards? If there's time at the end. Okay. Uh, that is definitely something you should ask Veronica about, though. Okay. Uh, scratch pad. I wanted to do just a really quick project to start, uh, and then I'll hand it over to Miley and whoever else wants to do their projects. I've made a little graph here. Uh, you guys, have you guys done equations of lines and stuff in school, or is that that's later? Yeah. That's high school. Pardon? Equations? Equations? Yeah, we have done equations. Yeah, you've done equations. Have you done graphing equations? Like what? Like what? Like example? Like, a, like, in a, like a straight line. Yeah. There's an equation to make this line. And I've got it right here, one to one. Um, for x and y, y are like the like the Cartesian plane? Uh, I do mean the Cartesian plane. Okay, um, yeah. There's the oh, equation yeah. y equals, equals mx, plus mx plus b. Yeah. That draws a straight line. Uh, this uh, a straight line like I have right here is y equals x, which means y and x are the same thing. So when y is one, x is one. When y is two, Algebra. it's flipped upside down. It's supposed to be going like this way, but that's just that's just the way the graph is. Uh, so there's this one. Uh, depending on where you are in math, you might have seen the parabola, which looks like this. Um, but there's another function that we're going to use in today's uh, project, which is spinning penny. And it's the sine function. It, it's usually spelled S-I-N, which looks like sin, but sin, we're not yeah. sinning. Here. Wait, how do you make a not... curve? Uh, sorry, which? Is how do you right make Yeah, like how do you make a curve? It's kind of like what you did for, what you do for mature, for the animal, so. Kind of. Uh... Right, what I've done is I've made a whole bunch of little ellipses of size 2, 2. If I make them like 10, 2, it gets a lot thicker. But I'm just drawing a bunch of different circles. If I change what X is, you can see the circles a lot better. Oh, yeah. I see so they're kind of matching also. out this line. Uh, so the location, oh, the squares are um, the graph I made. Oh. Artesian plan she made. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't label my axes, so don't call the science department of the world, I guess, because I they would arrest me. But uh, yeah, basically the, the pattern, I've, I've made um, X just to be X. X is going across one, X is like left to right. It's going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine normally, but Y is sine X. So it goes into the sine function and it makes this curvy up and down thing. And you don't need to know the specifics right now of how sine works, but just know that this function right here, S-I-N-X, which is sine, not sin. I'm going to say that again because it's important. <laughs> uh, it, it does this wavy line right here. So uh, let's go to spinning penny because spinning penny uses the sine function. And it's also a new project, so you might not have done it yet. Uh, so right now what I've done... Univave. Sorry? What did you say, Miley? I didn't say anything. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, so here's our penny. You can see that it's a, ah. You can see that it's the same size all the time, but we want it to look like it's spinning. I know their line is a little bit thicker than mine. It's not rotating. It's just getting skinny and fat. It's just an optical illusion. It, yeah. Uh, it is. I didn't notice that. I thought it was actually spinning. <laughs> it's cool, right? It's one of the new projects. Oh, now I see it. It's just like bobbing. Yeah, yeah. It's just like contract. It's bouncing off the center line. So yeah. to make that, uh, we have to control how wide it is. So right here, I've got this X, like they've said to do. Increase the value of X by is equals one. So I can say maybe X times 20. And then it'll get fatter, but it never turns around and come backwards. Because remember, our, our straight line just went on and on and on and on and on. But our sine function went up and down and up and down. So I could probably use that to make it go fat and skinny and fat and skinny and fat and skinny and fat and skinny. 
So sounds like a song. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna what they've said to do is a hundred times sine x. I'm just gonna try sine x for right now. And it's really, really super duper duper slow. So that's why they have it multiplied by a hundred. Very simple, not many lines of code at all. Uh, it's eight, including a space here. So really it's seven lines to make your spinning penny. Amazing. Yeah, that's so hard. So that's my fun little adventure for the day. If we do um, other trigonometric functions, it does that, or we cosine, it, was, it looks the same. So it's this trio, sine, cosine, and tangent. Tangent is a wild child, just that. <laughs> but it makes this kind of like wavy effect. So I'll leave it there and I'll submit this one. I got 300 points, so there, Gotham. I got some points, ha, ha, ha. Uh, but now I'll turn it over to, okay, I know Miley wants to lead a project today. Does anybody else want to lead a project? I don't want to lead a project, but I want to go over a project. Yeah, so you want to go over mm -hmm. the, the cards, the deck of cards. Free? I you also got Ski Free. Yeah. Right? yeah. Did you get Ski Free sorted out with Veronica? No, it's, that was only an intro. Okay. She wants um, to get, like, know, know you, like, a lot more. Right. But she already knows me a lot more. <laughs> I know. What do you mean it's a get to know session? I don't know. She likes it. She likes, like, what do you like? What do you want to work on? Like that. Okay. Miley, go ahead and share your screen. If anybody okay. other okay. else. You need sorry. a suggestion. Okay. Um, so today we're doing basic house all challenges in Python. Python? Yeah, Python. Can you do, can you do JavaScript, please? I'm not used to Python. Well, you're sorry. about to learn, son. Sorry. <laughs> You'll see both projects, though. Okay. Anyway. I, I have done basic drawing. I drawing. thought you okay. did basic house in JavaScript. I did. Gotham. Yeah, I so you don't need her to tell you. <laughs> no, I, I saw this like brother. Challenges. Okay, anyways, let me share my screen. Yeah. This, okay, so this is the JavaScript yeah. version. Yeah. And so there's fences and everything, and you can go inside the house. Okay. And so you can I'm see two going, little bricks. <laughs> that was actually because um, for this one, I'm actually making different buttons for kitchen, like the kitchen and everything. Oh, cool. And there's no corn in it picker here. So that's Ooh, why yeah, that I just tricky. used this. Yeah, so, so corn picker? Yeah, Python. Yes. I've talked to my team about it, like my friends who also work at Hatch. And they're not my team, they're just my friends. But <laughs> uh, and, and I'm like, I don't think there should be Python up on the website right now because it doesn't work properly but it's it, up so it now still we get to works because <laughs> like for loops work booleans work if statements work yeah. still so but the okay. get draw doesn't work the get image doesn't work get image yeah. does not work no so you need gonna, to use an image yeah go ahead so i'm just gonna copy this and paste it onto my notes oh i already did okay <laughs> Oh, you so did some lesson prep. Good. <laughs> let's get started. Okay. So I'm first going to go over some basics while going over the same, this project. So first we're going to avoid the booleans, the, for, um, the for loops, and the if statements, and the mouse click for now. Why? And we're just going to because it's different. Okay. And we're just going to go with the drawing of the house. So when you want to, um, when you want to like call um, a variable, you do def draw so or def draw windows, whatever you're going to do. And you, so for example, if I wanted to draw like the background first, I do like def draw background parentheses and then a colon and then I'd enter and then what about the ending bracket? You, you don't need that for um, Python. Okay. Question, Ms. Miley. Yes. What happens if you don't use tabs? What happens if you write everything against the number line? 
Oh, th that, yeah, that's the problem for Python. Everything needs to be spaced out correctly. So, like, if, 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 like, you have an if statement over here, and then you have, like, your background, whatever there, you, it'll, like, automatically enter you here, but all your if statements or else and for loops all have to be on the same line. Otherwise, your code won't work. Because yeah, instead of the brackets, it uses spaces to tell what's part of what. Yeah. So everybody doing lousy spacing in JavaScript, get good or you won't be able to code in Python. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. It's okay. And then now we're going to start with the background. So I'm just going to type this because most of you know what a background is. Yes. At least I hope. <laughs> it's so not for gonna do big And we're going to do the fill. Okay. And this is my next question. For an ellipse, for this ellipse, it, we're drawing the sun right now, and all the coordinates are 50. Is there another way that I can use less parameters or less numbers to make this exact same ellipse? Yeah. Anybody know? Uh, red. No. Ellipse mode to corner. Okay, so let's just call this function. It's been a while since I've done processing JavaScript, so, or sorry, um, processing Python, so I actually don't know. So you said ellipse mode and corner, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's right, but what I meant by, um, like, less coordinates, I meant, like, over here, it has, like, four parameters. I meant, like, would it still work if I only use, like, 150? Just, like, for fill, if you have, like, three 100s or one 100, is it the same for ellipse? No. No. Yeah, you're that's right, true. but I actually figured out that for the size, if they're both the same, you can just put it like this and it's the same because it just assumes that the next one will also be 50. So, yeah. Rad. And then now we're going to do the grass blocks. So I just decided to make it green. And we're going to do the rectangle at 0, 300, 399, and 200. That will be the bottom. And then we're just going to make the outer house, which is 97, 15, and 8, which is like a brown shade, and 100, 150, 200, 200. So I have we are question. done. Yes. Uh, why in rect is it 399 and not 400? Is there a difference? Does it make a difference? I'm genuinely asking. No, it, no, it doesn't really make a difference. Cool. I was I was wondering that about the basic project, why it was like three ninety nine and not four hundred when the screen is four hundred yeah. wide. But cool. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Okay. So now you're just going to go with the um, next function. You could all put this all in a draw function, but then the thing is, you can't comment in Python. So if I was doing like door, it it would say error because you can't comment in Python, which is why you need you would want separate functions and variables so that you know which is which okay carrying on um i have another try question. using a sharp instead of two slashes or sorry not a sharp a hashtag a number sign oh okay because okay. i was like that's in pretty important so i just googled it quick sorry <laughs> Oh, okay. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> and you may be noticing that I'm not putting any semicolons after like every line of code. Um, in Python, you, you normally don't put semicolons, but when I was just experimenting, it honestly just works the same with a semicolon. So I don't know why in the projects they say that you don't need a semicolon. So yeah, maybe one thing to look into. Okay, so 
Now I'm going to do the next function. I'm going to actually speed through this because most of us know this. So I'm just going to do this very quickly. And then we can go on to the challenges and if statements and for loops. Okay, so now we're going to draw the door. And we're going to use a fill. Does anyone know what this shade will be more of? Brownish? No, no, no. Reddish, but brown, maybe. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so Miles is right. It was, oh, okay, we have to call it to see it. So Niles is right. It actually, it's like a reddish shade because it has more red. And now let's just go on to the doorknob. Okay. So the fill for the doorknob is 204, 115, and 43. And the ellipse is at position 190, 300 with the size 20 and 20. Okay, so now we're done the door. I actually might make it 10, so it's tinier. Okay, that's better. Um, so now I'm going to do the windows. And does anybody know what the, f what the parameters in a rectangle do? The first two parameters in a rectangle, or all of them if you want to say it. The X and Y. X and Y. With an I. I and Y. Um, can, can you repeat that, please? X and Y and height and width. Yeah, okay, you're right. Good job, Ava. That was you, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> I got your name right. Yay. Whose name? Okay. Ava. I always forget who she okay. is. So now we're going to start doing the fun part, which is, oh, okay, right after we draw the roof, actually. Okay, so we're actually going to have to do a bit of research when we are doing for loops and if statements and um, Booleans because I've never really done them. I actually have for this project. I have a question. But, yes. So <laughs> for, for Pike, for Python, why is there no um, research manual for Python? Because we there haven't is. made it yet. <laughs> there is research. No? I don't think so. Like have to reference manual. It's semicolons. Oh, yeah, true. Well, I don't know, honestly. Well, that, yeah, it's... It's just that, like, it's not that developed in Hatch, honestly. Yeah, that's why I'm like, oh, we shouldn't have Python because we don't have a reference manual for it. Some things don't work. But and what you can also, do... Put this... They're like, fixing I Hatch. It. Yeah, we're fixing it. Yes. I was trying to put this into a blank canvas so I can finish this quicker. But then it, like said, it was all wrong because it, like blank canvases don't accept Python. I'm going to write that down. Okay, so now we're going to do the fun part, which is the fence. And for for loops, it's not the same. So let's take out for loops first. So let's just call, do the function first. So def draw fence. And let's just call it here so we can see it. Draw fence, okay. Wait, what? 242. I don't know what's wrong with that, Phil. You missed, oh, it's, you, you missed a comma. Yeah, you missed a comma. Thank you. Do it. Okay, I actually know why. It's because, wait, one sec, let's see. The problem with um, Python is sometimes if you don't write anything in a function, it also declares it as wrong. Because if I were to put like fill 100, now the problem is gone. If you write so, pass, that wouldn't happen. Pass? Oh, okay. Thank you. 
Anyways, so let's go on to the feedback. It says, tip for four loops. Do the project for many colored circles. Okay, so let's go. Oh. Okay, let's go to. What you can always do is Google processing Python for loops. If okay. you need it. Or processing Python booleans. I've got both the pages pulled up. If, oh, if you okay. get stuck, you don't have, you, 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 you do, you do you, boo. I've got okay, the project so pulled up though. First search it in JavaScript so I can compare both codes. So for many colored circles. Okay. It's in JavaScript. Pardon? I was in JavaScript. I know. I'm doing both so I can compare it then. Oh. Got a mini Python lesson in here. Woo. And then I'm going to switch to Python. And let me scroll down. I actually can't see my screen. Okay. Your project. Okay, let me just, um, one sec. Okay, let me just break everything down and copy and paste it. Copy and paste? Okay, there. You can't see what was broken down, so. Just so it's for the for loop is for i in range zero four hundred and a colon, and when you compare that to the code for for many colored circles, it's for var i equals zero i less than four hundred i plus plus. So from this, I get that you take the four. Oh, let me annotate. Um, you take. Oh, did I? Okay. Um, you take the four I in range zero comma four hundred, and then you do a colon, which is what I got. And then the rest of the code will stay the same, and you don't need an ending bracket. It'll on automatically know you ended the for loop when you start a new for loop. So then, oh, okay. I need to erase this. Okay, and then now let's go back to um, our draw fence. So the code over here is for var i equals zero, i less than 15, i plus plus. So what should our for loop be? according to what we saw for, for many colored circles. Four. Okay, four. Do I need a bracket next? No. no. Okay, and then what do I write next? I, I in range. In range zero bracket, zero, 15. Oh, yeah, zero yeah, 15. Yeah, okay. And then colon. Yes. We didn't Oh, we need and a colon for... Pardon? Oh, no, nothing. We okay. need a colon. And then now you we're going to draw the um, fence. So we'll, we'll do the fill, and then let's draw the rectangle. So I plus I times 27, 302, 13, and 100, which are the height, length, width, and height, x, y, height, and width, yeah. Okay, so now we have our fence. We can change the fill if we want to. So like, I like the shade 134, 134, 104, it's like a nice gray. So we're done with the fence now. So now let's, Delete this. Okay. Now let's go into if inside house. Okay, we're gonna skip that part, and we're gonna go into the mouse clicked now. So when you first go onto a project in Python, let's just X this out. Okay, let's just load many tabs. Okay. So when you first go onto a project in Python, it tells you how to do a mouse clicked. It's mouse clicked E and then a colon. So I can show you quickly. Okay, let's just wait for one to load. 
Okay. So, for example, if I go on to like basic design right now, it says here, def mouse pressed E, get image does not currently work and some other things and like a basic overview of some things you might want. So this, so it's E because it's, it's technically um, calling an event argument. So we gotta do def mouse clicked E, which means event argument and colon. And then now we're going to look at if statements. So that for so the feedback for if statements is do the project mouse X. And you have so, that mouse X. Yeah, I have. Um, let's okay. Let's just X this out. Okay, mouse X. Okay. Okay. So let me break it down. Paste it. Okay. So this is the code. If you notice right here, like Miss M asked us if like, does it matter for the spacing? Yes, it does. Cause if I move the else if or elif in this case, it doesn't work. All the if statements and for loops have to be on the same line to know when a new one is beginning and what is part of what. So for here, if you see it's if mouse X um, less than 150, so there's no brackets. So from this, I can take that, this would be if mouse x greater than 171, but I don't know if there's gonna be brackets and what do I do for the and symbol. So if mouse x is not really a helpful project in this case to me. You just write and in for and. Yeah, you're right, but I'm just going to show how you can get that from another project. So let's look at mouse, no, click, click me. Or mouse clicks on a button. Okay, break it down, okay, there. So over here, if you see, it's if, this is the button you're creating, and it's if mouse x greater than 160, and mouse X less than 240, and mouse Y greater than the 160, and mouse Alpha Y and. less than 200. And you have to write the ends, and nothing else is different other than the colon that you have to add. So from this, we can conclude that our code will be if mouse X greater than 171, and mouse X is less than 225, and mouse Y is greater than 247. And lastly, mouse Y is less than 348 and then our colon. Okay, so now it's time to add in the Booleans. And for that, we're going to be doing, one sec, color flipped. So what you guys should be learning from this is that if you're ever stuck on one of your elements, go do an, one of your projects where you've already used it before because you wrote your own answers down. You can cheat off yourself. Okay. Um, Wait, it works now. Yeah. Okay. You know, the Veronica Marcher project. Yeah, I didn't know about the indents before. Okay, so let me... No, um, it's not safe for you. Come paste this. Okay, so now we're done copying, pasting. And so it actually works. And so from what you notice from the Booleans is that you don't have to write var flip the first time you do it. And the tr like true or false, it's lowercase. It's not lowercase, it's capital. And you don't put a semicolon or a colon. And you have to always put global flip um, and for all the booleans you have in the, in the mouse clicked or where you're calling them in that function. So 
it they all work properly. Otherwise, your project will crash. Okay, so from ta taking from this, we're going to add our booleans at the top. So can anyone tell me what they will be? Outside house equals true. Okay. And will the true be capital or lowercase? Lowercase? Capital. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, capital. Okay. Harvard. And the next one will be in inside house equals false. Okay. Oh. False. So now we have that, we can delete that now. And now in the draw function, I'm going to create an if statement. So if in, oh, I don't need a bracket because if you only have one statement inside the if statement or like, yeah, one statement, then you'll, um, you don't need a bracket, but if you have more than one statement, like, for this one below over here, then you'll need to put brackets. So over here, I, I'll just write inside house, then background will be 255, 150, 190 for now. So we know it works. And then in the mouse clicks, we're also going to write outside house will become false and inside house will become true when you press the door. So now let's see if it works. We can delete all this now. Okay. It doesn't work. Does anyone know why? Someone is screen graffitiing unless you're pointing out what's wrong. Wait, let me see. Can we go down a little bit? Okay, can someone stop screen graffitiing, please? You cannot erase. Let me try to erase it. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm hot. I'll be honest. I wasn't totally paying attention. But <laughs> does it have something to do with the E in mouse claim E? No, it doesn't. No, okay. Because I, I, I was that you have. Um, I, I was. It just has to that, be there. No, you have to be there because it's. It causes. It means the event argument. Yeah. No, I've worked with E before. It's an exception, but I. I okay, usually have to use can, E. <laughs> now we can. Okay. Who? Oh, buddy screen. I didn't do it. Oh. It's not me. Okay, honestly. I um, yeah, so y'all better tell me if it's you or not because I'm going to kick everyone out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, so I'm kidding, now, but I just thought it was um, funny. We're going to compare our code to the bottom. So, oh, like I said, we forgot the global. You need the global outside house and global inside house for it to work. Otherwise, it won't function properly and you're thing won't work and it might crash. How do I change the color of the sun? Um, you no. can change the fill. Oh. So now I'm going to do global outside house. So that's technically passing. When you do global outside house, you're technically passing the booleans onto the mouse clicked function. So global inside house and now when you click it it works well, where's your thing like the two rectangles oh the kitchen thing okay i can quickly code that but do you want to see me coding that or do you want to like do you want me to like finish it and show you well it's, like, well, it's working yeah it's working <laughs> so Oh. Does anyone want me to continue with the buttons and what else you can do? Or like, should I stop? So somebody's been graffiti. Me. All right. 
Any ideas? Are you doing that? Me? Are you doing that? No. Oh. I'm doing the checks, I think. Right? I'm not doing anything. See, people are drawing See? rectangles. Yeah. You're... Can you find okay. who's doing the screen, Gafrini? I am gradually uh, getting rid of people. and pulling them back. Well, I'm not doing it. I know. I'm going to stay back here and watch. I'm not doing right? it. Will it stop now? Yeah. What's your question? You disable annotation. Right now, the color of my son is black. And yeah. I don't really know how to, like, where would I put the film? Okay. Um, I share can, your screen. Uh, yeah, I'm, or I can I'm gonna take the screen back. <laughs> What's your username? Uh, my username is um, the Hatch. Let me get my statement. For Hatch is Aiden K three. Cool. And which project is it? Basic House. The basic House. Cool. Uh, oh, right now your sun is white. <laughs> it's showing so, on my screen that it's black. So what you want to do is fill. Wh whichever, whichever shape you want to do, you put an ellipse before that. Like you're getting the house ready for them. You roll out the red carpet, you choose the fill color, you choose everything, and then you call your ellipse. So I'm going to go enter, enter. Um, it worked. It worked. Yeah. Did you see it worked? Yeah, Wait, but what? this this on line oh. thirteen is looping around to the start. It should be up here. Yeah. Oh. It it worked, but it wasn't proper. Just yeah, <laughs> like uh, no like uh, if you balance something really precariously, sometimes it's gonna stay, but sometimes it's gonna fall. You should just place it in a better spot rather than just like hoping. And also, um, how do we? How do I draw the root? Triangle. I want to see if we can get our little dude finished up. Yeah. And can we go over my hand of cards? I went over your hand of cards. Um, I just pressed enter after the declaration of the object. Let me see if I can find it. Wait, where? When? Wait. I was doing it while Miley was leading the lesson. Oh. <laughs> uh, student project. Dedicated hand now. of cards. IDE. Um, yeah, so what I did was I went to cards and I just pressed enter. Didn't work now. Can't suit of undercom. Yeah, like this invisible error. I'm still not I just, done. I just press enter. Do you want to work together on this, Gotham? Because I'm yeah. not done mine either. <laughs> okay, cool. Looks great. Okay, <laughs> let me start a group next? project then. Sure. Because I'm going to see if we can finish up, little dude. Um, in the gosh. 28 minutes that we no 18 minutes that we have you're, okay. you're, you're a fast coder so you can do it we have Hopefully. 17 minutes i'm just gonna send a message to our graffitius we have 17 minutes mm. how do you know it was the graffitius i kicked them out and the graffiti stopped oh, oh, it's, no oh it's, or they just stopped it okay miley what's your username my fully p1 Oh. Uh, let me find. Okay, I'm it's going one, to right? Yeah. Okay. Why okay. is the house drawing if you do it at um at um English description you get four hundred um points? Oh, that's you're thinking more. No, that's not because it's it's house drawing. It's because it has more like things. I mean, like it's technically the exact same thing as basic that house. Would just Add the roof. That's it. Yeah, That's I don't roof. know. Why. That's the only difference. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a variable up here for message, message, massage. massage. I'm gonna make a massage variable because like I think we could all go for a massage this Friday. It's the end of the week, and what I'm gonna do is put in our draw little dude function. A man is a text. Yeah, yeah my land did it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I have a million group projects, so let's find it. <laughs> I have 54, so. Zero. You have 54. I deleted message. mine. So if I put message as, I little need dude. a message. My little dude doesn't work. Oh, that's unfortunate. It died. I know. It why are invisible errors? Uh, I don't know why there are invisible errors. I would have to go over your code. Uh, Wait, I'm why are my hands raised? Sorry. 
Are you like, um, hmm? are you guys taking in feedback to change Hatch? Yes, let's do and feedback. You, yeah, no, I was just asking because yeah, we are. Today, Mr. F also asked me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, he, do... like, he's a Hatch coach. What level he's in? Instead of putting up text when I, I don't know, I don't know. But instead of putting up text when I feed the dude, I'm gonna change the message to food yummy. Is the graffiti a back? Yes. Okay. The the accused is back. I don't know if they were the actual one, but <laughs> the accused has returned. <laughs> um, allegedly. Anyway, so this is how I'm gonna sort out the problem of when we had text popping up. It was only popping up for a second. Yeah. They're back at it They're again. They're back at it again. <laughs> I'm just going to clear up the annotations currently. Okay. How do you clear up annotations? You go Who to... that? Annotate. I'm not doing it. Yeah, there's sirens in the background of my house. <laughs> Why? It's, it's like happening every webinar. I know, because I live in downtown Toronto. Oh, okay. Annotate, okay. then you click clear all drawings. Um, cool. Wait, yeah. can you block annotate? Uh, maybe. I'll do that for next time. I know Mr. Cooper. I think we're just going to have to put up with it for the next 14 minutes, because, you know, we only have so much time. It's an infinity logo. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to, what I've done with my feed dude is I've increased his health and lowered his love. Okay. Someone else is, you know. I know. I know. What should we do about it? We're moving people. Little dude. Um, I have a question gone. for little dude. What's your question Not, for little dude? Um, um, can you do it with, um, without, would it be more efficient to do, do it with an array? Would it? Describe to me what you're thinking of doing. With no, like, I was just asking, because I don't know. Like, I was just saying an efficient way of doing a project. So, like, for my little, for, like, little dude, like, it's, like, health stat, assign it to an empty value, and then have the, uh, no, health stat and assign it to an inner um, 10, and, like, have dude text and assign it to an empty string, and then having the draw buttons as an okay. object. Don't speak graffiti. Wait, what was that? Screen graffiti. I don't like screen graffiti. Okay, like that was not me. How do you? I know, uh, I know. How do you I draw can't. a roof on the basic house? Like, do you just write draw roof, or like you? Wait, pardon. Can you repeat that? How do you like add a roof onto the basic house? You do um, you do a fill and then a triangle. So you just type fill triangle. The like triangle. Like, so you do fill, like any color you want. Like say it's like yellow, 255, 255, zero. And then you do the triangle. And you, um, if you don't know what the coordinates are for a triangle, you can use the coordinate picker or you can go to the hatch reference manual to see how hatch reference manual are. is the best. <laughs> I'll tell Evelyn you said that. I have She's a question. On it. What's your question? What, like, why, like, Hatch, it's so easier than the other ones. If you look, go in, in the internet and check it, it's a little bit more complicated. And why in Hatch, it's so, like, a little bit simpler? Because we rock, that's why. Yeah, we rock! We're the best, like, easy. <laughs> you, I, I thought you uh, won over, like, you win something. You want something against Lego? Uh, Lego? I don't know. I don't know, I just wow. saw that. Well, like our dude works now. Oh, really? Little dude. Yeah. That's nice. If anybody so, wants to fight back against screen graffiti, you go yes. to um, annotate. Yes. And then go to clear the garbage can and then click clear all drawings. Annotate. You'd be able to do that. I'll try okay, and change the settings over the weekend. Clear. What? Who did? Okay. It's not working. You can't clear. It doesn't you know can't clear. Yeah, oh, I can't too bad. Anyway, you clear uh, it then. So, 
Put, let, try to erase. Try to erase. Only the host oh, yeah, we can erase, it. I think. No, no, it's Only not working. Only the host can. You know what? Only Webinar's host... over. Why? Because people are graffitiing and I can't run it like this. Can people I've stop graffitiing, please? I can't show you my screen if people are going to draw on it. So no, no, that's I can't screen. I'll I'll reset the I'll reset the drawing project, but until then we can just talk about coding because because we we can't we can't I'm tired of getting people attention by uh, the whoever's drawing on the screen is getting attention for drawing on it because we keep talking about them and so there's nothing much I can do until I stop the webinar and and go back into the settings so. We can talk about the little dude. I'll post the link to my project in the chat. Uh, wait, wait, but we need a password. We yeah, we can't go to it. So we got a password? Yeah. Oh no, how do I get Change it? Change a group project. Uh, sure, let me do a little dude group project. Uh, only four people can enter it, so what should we do with it, about it? I don't know. Can I be in it? Can I can be, I be in, in it? it? <laughs> uh, I don't know if group project thing is going to work. <laughs> If, if somebody else wants to brave the screen graffiti, they can share their screen and look, look at stuff. But uh, I can't share my screen on this device. Oh, she's using device. two devices. You know what I'm no, gonna actually, do? I can, I can oh, share, screen. but like I don't wanna. Uh, I just don't this. want it. Here, can you copy? Oh, you can't paste things into Hatch. I forgot. Okay, I can. you can drag. I can. I can paste things into Hatch. Only on the project. Uh, to project. I, I posted all my code in the chat. <laughs> so now everybody can use. <laughs> everybody can oh, wait, I don't see it. Yeah, yeah I don't Oh, I posted it into the waiting room. <laughs> oh, what? who's in the waiting room? Yeah, how do you go into waiting no, room? Nobody's, nobody's in the waiting room right now. How do you go to waiting oh, room? I got I'm it. I got it. Yeah. Let me copy it. Okay, I'm sharing my screen now. Hi. <laughs> Put it in the chat. <laughs> I have hi. Uh, I'm going to enable screen? multiple participants can share simultaneously. Side I got side. all your code. Thank you so much. You're yeah, I'm in level 11. <laughs> oh, okay. Can I share my level? No. Yeah, you're in level 15, I know. No. Yeah, you're in level 15. You told us. Yes, like, but you, I need to spout. You, you, I need some have, challenges. Yeah. Challenges. Look how much, look how much, look, you have... I have like so many group projects. Ha ha ha. Wait, what? I have so many Who's group screen projects. Is this? this is my screen. Of course. Yeah, it's my stop sharing. Oh, why? This. I have some. I have some. Ava posted her uh, uh, answer. It's not too. mine. I just accidentally copied yours and then. Oh. <laughs> and then just, yeah. That's okay. I'm not at a high enough level to do it though. Which so one? I can't, I, I can't do a little dude because I'm not in a high enough level. Wait, little dude? I think I know where little dude is. Do you know how to make a text file on your computer? No. Yeah, yeah. I do. I can. I little do. Dude I, is I, yeah, at I level do. But I'm, Wait, really? I, little dude's unlocked at level 13. 13. Let me see. I'm too lazy to do it though. I'm little dude. Little dude. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I'm only three. You levels. unlock no projects at level sixteen. Yeah, that's yeah. Did you unlock some... so many? Okay. Your 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 purgatory is over. Me, mine? No, we're back to little dude. This is boring. Wait, I'm bored, so we're back to little dude. Can, Can you I see my share screen? my screen, please? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna share my screen. Uh... I can also share my screen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And screen graffiti again. I'm sharing my yeah. screen now. Who's, who's Miley sharing? wanted to share her screen. Okay, so it's her screen. <laughs> yeah, imagining expert. You almost have Veronica to beat her. Yeah, yes, I need to beat her. Can you ask her what level she's on? Who's yeah. the That was me. That was me. <laughs> now you want to see. I want payback now? <laughs> Sorry, I just thought it would be funny. Stop. That's what I wrote. <laughs> oh, Let me take that out. Okay, thank you, Colin. That was my graffiti. Well, some, oh. well, some good graffiti. Okay. Whoa, look at Miley's points. Yay. Let's see mine. So can, can I also okay. scare mine? It's good so bad. April is a good month. It was. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> May. May is not such a good month. How do you look at the monthly 
points break down. Okay, so you go to my results. Then you go to report if you want to. If anyone's allow wondering why I'm allowing this, oh. this total breakdown, it's because it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday! There, and then you can see. Oh my it. god. Or you can go to like feedback. I have like so much feedback for some reason. Right when have, I post it, I you have 192 talk. projects done. Yeah, but for like before, like I oh only got god. feedback when I did something wrong, but now it's like, good job. Good nice. job, because you, okay. you're an expert at it. No, it's like nice. You fixed it. Good. In Python. In Python. 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 In Python. In Python. In Python. In Python. In Python. In Python. Great job. Ski free? I have yours. Great job, Webinar Squad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You heard. Haha. Uh -huh. My favorite uh -huh. project. Let's see. This My favorite. No. 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 None if you guys are. want to like make your own project but you can't unlock showcases yet, you can always just open up a project and then not follow the instructions. <laughs> It'll still work. Just rename it. Yeah, you can rename it. You won't be able to submit it as that project and get points for like creativity. To, yeah, you won't be able to submit it as mm. like um, if you open up Spinning Penny. Oh, I'm gonna do Spinning Penny. If you open up Spinning Penny, then you can just like code little dude. Like it's your choice. Because we coded little dude from project description. So you know, you can just go back on the YouTube channel and watch the videos. And just say, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> I, what is your longest project? My longest project is a oh yes. It's it's, it's two sided die? Yeah. I feel like I need to get some popcorn for this coding like party. Yeah. I've got Pringles, it's close enough. Wow. Lucky. Do you guys have a Share favorite some. chip flavor? Share some. Uh, <laughs> can can you see my screen? Like or my yeah. sorry, my face? Here. That's yeah, blue. Open your mouth. I don't like I don't like um, There, this is my longest project. It has three hundred and forty seven codes. What? Lines of code. Is um, that just a normal project though? My longest yeah. is a showcase. Yeah. It's my long well, this is my longest not showcase project. Oh, you know what our longest group project is? Gay mania. No, mine is Christmas time hashtag fun. <laughs> How much lines is that is? We have three thousand something? It has three thousand and five hundred. Is it's, that a group project? Yeah, it has random stuff like text everywhere, that's why. So I deleted most of it, so now it only has like one hundred. <laughs> you guys wanna see something cool just for the end of the week in the yeah. last we have? Um these are sorting algorithms. What? Uh, so they, what they've done is they've got a bunch of different, this, like, see, so they're all the same. So they generated a random data and they want to sort it from tallest to smallest or smallest to tallest or something like that. Uh, and they, there are all these different algorithms that, that sort things and we get to watch them as they start to sort. Can you share your sound? Can you share your sound, please? Sure. It's a weird sound, but. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so they're just gonna. You can see how long it takes each of them. You can see that some of them are almost done. So like shell sort is done, bubble sort is done, but smooth sort is still going. Quick sort, interestingly enough, is still going. Sorry, I'm trying to clear my drive. Wait, I'm also doing. Wait, wait, let me do it. Let me. Wait, you can turn. <laughs> I'm circling them. I know. I'm it now. Yeah, you don't want the sound anymore. So but it's yeah. cool, right? It, it was like blinking. Really. Then I had to turn it way down. Like this. So if you want to uh, if yeah. see videos like that, like you don't, it might not be that one. Um, you can go to Google uh, sorting algorithm visualization. It's a mild and, screen. Uh, yeah. 
let's look at some projects. <laughs> We've only got one minute left. The oh, minute it turns four, you did I'm going to say goodbye and then turn In off. French, yeah. Me too. Well, I, I just started like I know Chinese in Duolingo. That's a good thing to do. Did you know you yeah. can learn Klingon? Do, do you do Duolingo? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I was doing Spanish for a long time. What level are you on? I don't Me? remember. <laughs> Maybe level Cause, seven. Because I no, went to Peru. Like I meant like what? What? Like what league are you on? I don't know. I, I went to like, Peru, so that's how I. Was you don't know the house game. league? Like where I have like a hundred and something lingots. Bye guys. Bye guys. It's time to end the webinar. I have another lesson Bye. to do. I have a Bye. Bye.